Wow. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Three and a half miles of tunnels. We're going to get lost in here. Yeah. I hope you're not claustrophobic. Not that I know of, but I guess we'll find out. Hey, Sid, how you doing? Sid. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nick. Nick, how do you do? I'm Katrina. Katrina, nice I'm to Sid. Meet you. Nice to meet you both, and welcome to the tunnels. Sid is the site manager for the Drake Low Tunnels. He's been running it for about 20 years. He has a ton of paranormal experiences here. He's going to share those with us. This was constructed in 1941 for the Second World War, for the production wow. of the parts for Rolls Royce Merlin engines. So a ton of history here then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they actually lived here. A lot of people lived on site, and there was 700 people worked in here as a factory, and over 2,000 people excavated it and built the, the complex. How many people would you say actually died here that we have record of? Officially, about four, maybe five. OK. But I think in those days, though, loose lips sank ships, so people, yeah. they didn't talk about it. So they would take TNT, I would imagine, right? And blow out all the rock and everything? Yeah, they, they put explosives in. And then if you look on the walls, you can see the, the chisel marks where they use the pneumatic chisels to, yeah. to create the, the finished shape. I see that, yeah. All the chisel marks all throughout yeah. this whole entire cave. How many tunnels are there? There's four main tunnels like this, and then there's another four across it, so it's like on a giant grid. We could literally get lost in here if we're not you careful. Probably a lot of people do. Oh, really? Yeah. Every corner looks the same, and it just it goes on and on and on. This is tunnel one. This okay. is tunnel one right here. Yeah. You feel the temperature change? Yeah, it's different. That is weird. Right when we crossed this so threshold just right turned, here. Just those few feet there. All my I felt head, head tingly. I feel all the hairs. My arms have just gone up. It's just... So when that happens to you, what does that mean? Generally means that there's some, somebody or something is near me. As we're turning into tunnel one, this electricity is jolting through my skin, making all the hairs on my arms stand up on edge. And I turn to Sid, and he says the exact same thing. Yeah. It freaked me out that day then. I'm not right saying here? it. Yeah, that just, just, you a, just as we came through. He's feeling this energy right now, exactly where we're standing. This is where we think that this one chap, and I called him Oswald. <laughs> Why do you uh, call him Oswald? I don't know. It just, it's just a good it name just to seemed call. It seemed appropriate. Yeah. But we think his name is um, Harry Depper. They said there was a cave in, and that's how he died. We believe this is where the rock fall or the the death of Harry Depper happened in this in this this area here. So a lot of people have seen this figure right yeah. here, and you personally have I seen it. I personally, I've seen it. Yeah. I mean, I was on a ladder, feet about that high, and I suddenly came off the ladder. And I hit the curb and I broke my leg in three places. And like I something I crushed pushed my ankle. you? Oh, yeah, the force on my shoulders. And I was just, that was it. I was on the floor with my foot facing the other direction. Immediately walking into the canteen, for me, it feels uh, totally different from the other places we've been so far. It feels like there's a room full of people, but they're kind of just standing back watching us and, you know, waiting to see what we do. You hear walking? You hear that? Yeah, there is something going on back there. Right? This a uh, walking. It's like someone's walking way in the distance. If there's anybody down here with us, can you make some sort of sound so we know you're here? Can you tap on this bucket? Let's set some lasers up really quick. Okay. Can you walk through the lasers? Can you tell us where you came from? Were you buried above us? Where was that? Holy Where f was that? That was so loud. All right, we heard you. Move to where our voice is. Are you trying to scare us? Holy <laughs> Holy God. We just heard you. The kitchen door has been slammed. Really? Yeah. Nobody closed the door, right? 
I don't think so. Why would we close the door? Check this out. This was like that when I came back. We did not close that door. I think that's what was slamming. And it makes sense because it echoed. And look, we're closer to the uh, closer halfway to up. Here, let me, yeah, I'm going to slam it. Ready? Yep. That's the sound. Is that it? That's the sound. So this thing has to be like purposely, purposely slammed. I mean, I guarantee this door is what was slamming. Makes sense. I mean, Sid said this is a hot spot. Everybody that comes here has an experience here in this area. It's where they hear chattering, footsteps, music. And we did ask, like, can you do something and tell us where to go? Right. And it's leading us back to this area.